Hello and welcome back to our Evercron Legacy. Let's play poorly. We are now up to version 20708. And uh, a lot of nice things have been changed here. The main ones that I'm interested in are, well, the graphical update to the shader. I uh, get the lighting, really. Looks really good. Ah, oh, this looks really good. Okay, we need to get some missiles going here. Let's let's see if there's anything out here to kill. Yeah, so the dev made a fair number of uh, subtle little tweaks to lighting, which uh, already I can tell looks just really, really good. What did I hit? What did I hit? All right, so we're in Bonar Bonari War territory at the moment at uh, Arvok Command. So I'm just gonna be piddling around with these guys for a little bit. Got him. Oh, I'm hurting a little bit. Maybe I should uh, head back to the house. Can I do anything better with my can? No, I don't think I can. Fifty. Yeah, these are all. Ooh, the refractor laser, metal vapor. I could do the metal vapor laser. Low level of energy has a low yield against shields, but this is also awful. So. Let's do it. Oh gosh. Look at that. Big guy. I'm not going after you. I'm going after you. Because you're far enough away from the big guy. Oh shit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to repair myself. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. All right, out we go again. Ooh, it's getting hairy out here. Got it, all right, who's left? I'm not cut touching you, you stay away from me. Almost. There we go. Ugh. 
Oh, he got away. Shit. How did that happen? Oh, I because I forgot to refuel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um where's my where's my house? That's not my house. Alright, where is it? There it is. Alright, so let's say what we got for missions. There's an escort. Five enemy fighters. Capital ship. Um. Mm, no. That's, uh, no. Thank you. No. We're going to just keep doing this for a minute. Is nobody going to get the, the big sucker face thing up there? Come on. I don't know if that's going to do anything. It's probably going to chap. Yeah. Oh, but we did get it. Didn't do much damage to it. The shields are still up. I wanted to wait, but... I don't usually do very well if I do that. All right, I'm plinking it. I'm plinking it. Next volley will do it. Yeah. All right. Got it. Who else? Who else we got? Oh, these guys. Something coming at me here. Oh, it's dead. Yes! Ah, oh, nice hit. Nope, too far away. Feeling pretty good about this so far. Okay, I'm out of, uh... Out of missiles. Alright, let's get my shields back up. All right, here we go. All right, you're the last one in this flight, and then we'll head back to the barn and uh, 
Oh, you're dead. All right, let's go. Oh, no, he wasn't the last one. It's this guy. Come on. Get in close. Come on, approach, approach. All right, well, that, that guy came from, came from, from somewhere else. So let, let's, uh, oh shit. I'm gonna have to fly right past this thing. Oh no, that is the Venari Sea, never mind. All right, let's get out of here. It's not doing anything. I wonder why. Oh, that's my seat. What's he doing? All right, so I think we'll head on out to another zone. This is the uh, war zone against the Venari, but I'd like to go explore some other areas, uh, especially like the the front lines of the Alliance versus Federation uh, stuff. Okay. A waypoint, but yeah, these are none of these are what I want. So let's get out of here. Oops. All right, so we're up here. We're gonna go. I want to get up in here where it'll be nice and dangerous. <laughs> uh, so that means going to Pikey's. Uh oh. Wait, ah, crap. Come on. Oh, it's up there. Ooh, can I get there? I'm... Mm, how much time do I have? Not a lot. It's a Venari attack. Ah, but that's Alliance territory. Or Federation. Federation? Federation. Yeah, I don't care about them. We're going to Pikey's. I have the, um, I do have the station text turned on, but unfortunately I have it turned on for everywhere rather than close by. And that does create, um, these station attacks at a distance from where I am that is not really going to be particularly, uh, helpful since I can't really get there. I mean, maybe eventually I'll be able to flit around, but right now with the, uh, with the drive that I have and the, and the, tissue paper ship that I'm flying. Uh, it's not really... not really a good idea. Hey, Venari guy. Uh, don't mind us. Oh, fuck! Come on, autopilot. Get us out of here. Come on. Autopilot. Autopilot. Get us out of here. Turn. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. There we are. Oh, why do you always fly to the side? Why do you always do that? Oh, okay, this time he's going straight to the center. Okay. All right, so we're on our way. Unrelated to absolutely anything, I just find it interesting. So we have these uh, coordinates, X, Y, and Z. The way I learned it in my old geometry classes back in elementary school or whatever it was, X and Y were the plane, and Z was the vertical. Right, so Z was coming out at you from the paper, basically. So I've always treated the Z axis in my head as the, the axis that goes away from the ecliptic, for example. But it seems like everybody else on the planet 
does it differently, where S, or sorry, S, X, and Z are the plane, and Y is the vertical. I mean, I get, I get how that works, right? Like, you, it's basically X and Y is being looked at as if you're looking across at it instead of down at it. And so, therefore, the Z is going to be depth. But the way I learned it as a kid, you're looking down on X and Y, and Z is depth. Which, I, I don't know, I, it's not important about, it has nothing to do with anything, but I just, I thought it was funny. It, what it means is that I am constantly having to reframe my head. Uh, in turn, oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do. That's the wrong click. Uh, I keep having to reframe the way I think about, um, yikes, ah, bullet board. The way I think about oh, coordinate systems. When I look at that number, those numbers up there, that looks to me just instinctively as if the station is somewhere up from the ecliptic, from the plane of the ecliptic of that system. 2,500 units up or something like that. Uh, from the ecliptic of the whole, I guess the whole galaxy section or whatever. But that is obviously not the case, that there's not really that much of a delta in this game, along with most other games, uh, like X4, uh, Delta off of the plane. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm doing weird things with my hands, like, as if you can see it. I'm trying to explain it with my hands. Uh, okay. Deep Space Item Recovery. Oh, that, I hate those. I hate those. They got me killed last time, or they got me stranded in space. Uh, passenger transport. No, I think we're good. Uh, let's refuel. I want to look at the quadrant. So I'm here. If I get up toward Fauston, that's definitely going to be enemy territory. Sapphire, in particular, will be right in the middle, dead center of the uh, the territory dispute. I'm kind of here on the corner, but there's a little bit of there's green here, so I, I'm pretty safe. So let's uh, let's head over to what are you? What is that? What is that? Is that Thuban or Virgo? I think that's Virgo. So, all right, which one of these comes from Pikes? That one. All right, so we're just going to go pop like that. And we're on our way again. Oops. Okay. So, I I don't know if every material texture... Oh, I'm going to hit the side. No, I didn't. Didn't hit the side. If every material texture has been updated, it feels like that's the case, but it could easily just be in my head um, with this 708 update. But I really do like this very it's a subtle overhaul essentially and uh i do like it because let's delete these let's see where we're going let's head over here grissom station because the metal metal in general is really hard to model in terms of uh, light because of the way it reflects uh similar to water um oh shooting a shingle okay uh, so there's a certain burnished quality to this, to the stuff, so where you have this flat spread of light on the surface, which w I feel like wasn't really there in the same way in previous versions. Like, you can kind of see it along here, I think. It's something like this, right, where there's more of a spread of the light, uh, along the surfaces of, um, metal objects. And, um... I saw some of the, uh, I saw the little trailer that he made, the little, uh, video of the update. And... And that's essentially what it looked like to me, like it was, it was changed. I don't know the explanation that he gave, because I'm not really familiar with the technical details of it, but I do know that it just meant that the surfaces weren't entirely specular in terms of their reflections. There was also a little bit of... I don't know. A, f a flat... 
uh, a flat reflection, like a, a spread out re reflection, which was uh, made it look a lot more realistic with just a very minor tweak. There, everybody's dead. All right, well, there's something out here I could pick up. Where'd it go? Uh, is it gone? No, it's gone? Yeah, I guess it's gone. Oh, no, there it is. Uh-oh, bad dude's coming in. Yeah, this is now the Federa we're up against the Federation now. Get my tractor out so it's done. I don't mind machines. All right. All right, here we go. That's kind of far away. Yeah. Yeah, let's go get him. I guess, I, I don't know if the station attacks have a actual impact on those systems if you're not there. But it's, it be, it's, it's nice to think that they might be. Oh, fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Because that means that the Venari are attacking Federation space, and those are the enemy. It'd be nice if something could happen out there and damage some things or something, I don't know. Oh, hey, yes! Yes, in fact. In fact, it does. So the Venari are on our side for once. It's interesting. It's surprising that we were informed, uh, seeing as how we are the enemy. That we were informed of the uh, of the shield loss over there. But yeah, that's what it is. All right, sell so that off. Anything here? This is a Vonari incursion intercept. Okay, so now there's a new button here that he's added to this version to 708. View destination sector. Oh, that's not bad. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's probably gonna get us messed up, but all right. Go. Oh yeah. All right, we're getting close to where we need to be. It's a lot of uh, rocks out here. Might be handy to do a little bit of mining. No, I'm not really built for that. All right. So let's. Uh, ooh, 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 no, no. Ooh, 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 up, 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 up. There we go. So the mission said that we would have time to go in here and kind of prep. And that basically for us here means refueling. Now, where am I supposed to go? Guess I'm going here. Yep, yep, I am. I'm indeed going here. Okay. How about I don't get way ahead of everybody? How about that? All right, here we go.
Oh, I have forgotten everything I learned from Arvok Alliance. About how not to... Ah, hmm. How not to just, like, YOLO into this stuff. Oh, shields! Oh, shoot! Yep, yep, yep. Ouch, 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 ouch. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not so bad, not so bad. Oh, even better. I did not intend to do that. Ow! Oh, goody! <laughs> All right, do I have, uh, yeah, ooh. Yeah, I got some oxygen, it's not worth it. That's a bit more worth it, maybe. All right, well, there's a station right here, Rucker. Let's go take, uh, take a look at Rucker Station. All right. Mercenary spacecraft, you're clear to dock the gate. Bye. Docking tractor beam engaged. All right, with 764, I don't think I can really, I still don't, I don't think I can improve my ship yet can i predator cannon 50 okay this is the cannon 50 58 one, two, 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 two. Mm, maybe 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 it's got a much it's got like 75 percent of the range now that's not that's worth it energy depletion weapon Short range weapon. Least energy of any class three weapon. No, I think I need I think I need my high range. Okay, trebuchet cannon. Depletes the shields. Well, yes, but wait. Why? Why would why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, okay, so it's basically double it doubles up attack shield attack. Uh, so you just use it with your with your beams, and then it's just like super extra special anti shield. Ooh, ooh, ooh! High level of energy, but let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sure it's a dumb idea, but let's do it. Excalibur, man, I love the Excaliburs back when I had that. You need eight slots though for that. Uh, rock eyes. Oh, I love the rock eyes, because they remind me of, um, free space. No? Yes, free space. Okay. Still repairing. Down to 700k. I, I think... I think we're good, but I want to... I'm going to check anyway. Let's uh, enter the station. I don't think there's anything that I can really do. This is the, this is the biggest... Uh, frame that I can get right now, I think. Oh, wait, no, maybe, 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 maybe. All right, let's see. Let's do, let's do this, and then we build. 573. Ouch. Ah. No. I don't know. Hmm.
We have three spots, three slots available, uh, and that would be, I mean, one, honestly, what's the best thing? Is a bit more secondary weapons or uh, more hull plating? More energy cores? No energy cores, maybe. I don't need more countermeasures. I think I'm good. Yeah. Do we do that? What is this? Uh, all right, 573. Now I have some assembly left. That's really the thing I'm, I I am I care about. So I'm current. I currently have Voyage Mark. Th wait, no, ship to build. Voyage Mark Two. Voyage Mark Two. That takes another twenty. Not really. Don't really need that. Uh, resistors, I've, I'm full packed. I'm uh, fully packed out. Plating is fine. Energy is fine. It's the wing, maybe, that I need? That's another 10. Ooh, there we go. Medium wing. Solid battles of low assembly resource and maneuverability. And you look super cool. Let's, let's move that. Oh, I didn't want to move that. I want to move... Uh, wings. I want to move the wings. Uh, uh, where do I put you? Right there, and then back. Do I have you back like... Ah! Reminds you of Robotech. Yeah. Not like I can see myself or anything, but hey. How much is it going to cost me? 580. Mm. Do it. There we go. All right, so I now have one more equipment spot. And I'm going to have to figure out what to put there. But for right now, I think we're going to end it here. When we come back, uh, take the new guy for a spin. Thanks for watching. See you next time.